So, in this video, I wanted to show you all my books that I have collected over the past uh, two years. Uh, not many. Um, I'm only just learn as I go, but I do have some. Uh, so I'll jump right into it. Uh, the very first, very, very first book that magical book that I have ever received was the Girls' Book of Enchantments: Everyday Magic for Modern Life by Lucy Summers. Well, I might have got this book when I was maybe 13, 14, 15 at the most. First book I ever bought. Um, it's an okay book. I don't really fall back to it, but um, it has everything from uh, candle correspondences. It talks about incense. Uh, ingredients talks about an altar, um, uh, moon magic, sun magic, days of the week, uh, elements, and it uh, has spells in here. I don't, I don't really like to use uh, spells in books. I prefer to to write my own because I feel like they're more. They're more, um, I'm so lost for words. <sighs> They're more powerful when, when, when I write them. They have more meaning to it. And, um, it's, uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> uh, it talks about your spirit guide. Uh, a mini herb garden, uh, scrying, sorry this page is really hard to find, uh, crystal healing, talks about uh, different seasons and uh, the will of the year. Um, Talks about different things you could do for the seasons, for uh, spring and summer and fall and winter. It has charms in here that you can do. Um, just, uh, different kinds of stuff like that. But yeah, this was the very first book that I bought. And uh, yeah, so that's that book. The second book that I bought is that I bought. Oh my goodness! That I bought is Wicca: A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. I think almost everybody has this book. So I'm really not going to go into details about this one. Absolutely love it though. I love anything Scott Cunningham does. I don't have all his books, but I do want them. The third one I bought is 10,000 Dreams Interpreted by Pamela Ball. This book. And this book was actually on. Oh, is it that? No. no. But this book was actually on sale for $5 at uh, Books a Million. And so was the first book. And let me go back. This book was five dollars on sale at Books a Million and this one was fourteen ninety five at Books a Million and this one was five. But this one has I mean just everything you could possibly think about about dreams. Because dreams was uh really the first thing the first uh I don't know if it's really a divination or I guess I guess I guess it would be I guess so that's really the first uh, thing I really got into was the dream it's very hard to remember your dreams though uh, the third book I bought is the only Wiccan spell book you'll ever need by Maureen Singer and Trish 
McGregor. It's hard to read it on the front. Yeah. Marian Singer and Trish McGregor. This book. And I paid eight ninety five for this book at uh uh Books a Million. And uh this was actually this is not the the one, but this is actually the first book uh our coven bought, which I I plan on doing a video on the coven stuff. But uh, it just has like a lot of um, correspondences and tools and um, how to create a, a sacred place. Um, uh, calling the quarters, uh, building an altar, uh, stuff like that. But this this is an okay book. It's it's not one of my favorites. But um, it, it 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 is okay, and I have this tab in here. And uh, okay, so the fifth book I got was it actually came in the kit. I showed this one in my last video. It was my tarot book, and I paid um, I think it was twenty one ninety five for the kit, and it come with the tarot cards in this book, and I also have tabs in this one. It just has uh, different uh, tarot spreads and um, the meanings of each card. And it's a really good book. I go back to it um, a lot. And then, sixth book I bought was Tarot Decoder. By Kathleen McCormick. This book. You can see it. <laughs> and this this is this is a really cool book. It has a really pretty uh you can see it. Well, went the wrong way. Really pretty illustrations. It has um a page on each of the tarot cards and interpretations and it has uh some uh, spreads in here. It has the history of it, um, different uh, different decks and stuff. Um, how to read the cards. Uh, different spreads, but I think I already said that. But yeah, really good book. Really liked it. Seventh one I got is I showed this one on the other video. It was in the kit, the Wiccan Spell Manual by Serona Knight. <clears throat> it's a it's an alright book. It um it it has a lot of stuff to talk about modern Wicca and uh, gods and goddesses and tools and uh, astrology, uh, the moons a little bit of everything and it has some some spells in here and uh but yeah it, it's an it's an okay book then the eighth book i bought oh hold on i forgot i'm sorry now this book the tarot decoder i paid five dollars for it it was on sale at books a million and then this was uh five dollars in a kit and then Next book is The Magic of Palm Reading by Ian Allen. I have not read this book yet. I paid, uh, this was on sale for $3 at Books a Million, if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't read it yet. I don't even know what's in it. I know it shows uh, the different types of lines in your hands and and what they are and how your hands are built and thumb shapes and fingernail shapes and hand shapes. Um, I can't wait to get into this one though. I'm hoping it's going to be really good. And the next book I bought is Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham. I haven't really read a whole lot of this book either because like I said in my last video I haven't started with 
uh, my herbs and stuff. But it has really, um, really pretty um, illustrations and uh, pictures of the herbs. If you can see them. I'm trying to get a close up. But really pretty. It's, it's really nothing <clears throat> but herbs in here and like it's correspondences for them and it's magical uses for them and really good book I guess so, I like how it looks so. and then last but not least the last recent book I have bought which was like two weeks ago I think is the Wicca Handbook by Eileen Holland I think I pronounced that right Eileen Holland and uh I've I've read a lot of this book and it's really good. It's um it's kinda sorta close to um uh Cunningham's book, uh Wicca Guide for Solitary Practitioner. It's kinda close to that, but this one actually uh lists um a lot of the correspondences out of the Stones and crystals, correspondences, colors, numbers, um, metals, uh, animals, um, and this one actually has the correspondences for different spells you do for uh, prosperity, uh, protection, and it talks about elements. And this this is a really good book. This is. Actually, my favorite by far, other than uh, Scott Cunningham, because his books are just always there. But yeah. Oh, and this book was sixteen ninety five at Books a Million, and the other book was sixteen ninety five also at Books a Million. But yeah, that's all the books that I have so far. I do plan on going to get more. There are a couple, a couple that I want to get. And my energy is just so drained today. Wow. Um, but, yeah. So, those are my books. I uh, hope you enjoy and blessed be.